Hey, I'm Brittany from PrettyHandyGirl.com. I am a DIY educator. I'm a licensed general contractor. Sometimes on YouTube, people can give me nasty comments like, get back in the kitchen, go do laundry, stick to the things you're supposed to do. Anyway, it gets ridiculous. But today, I'm gonna make their day because I'm gonna be in the laundry room. <laughs> My family of four, which is two teenage boys, myself and my husband, we all produce a lot of laundry. We do about two to three loads of laundry a week. Well, let me tell you, for a whole year, I clean our clothes for $1.25. That's right, $1.25, US dollars. I wanna go ahead and show you how because I think a lot of you are spending a lot more money on laundry detergent. So let me show you how I make my own laundry detergent and save a ton of money every year. You'll need one box of borax, one box of Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda, just a note this is not the same as baking soda, and one bar of Fells Naphtha. You can usually find these ingredients on the top or bottom shelf of your grocery store in the laundry detergent aisle. You may also be able to find these ingredients in your local home improvement or hardware store. And finally, you may want to create your own fragrance with the essential oil of your choice. I'm using lemon oil for this particular batch. You'll also need a fine cheese grater, a saucepan, a spoon or whisk, a quart measuring cup, one quarter measuring cup, a tablespoon, and a very big bucket. Cut your Fells naphtha bar into quarters. Remove one quarter of the bar and grate it into fine pieces. Put the other three quarters of the bar into a Ziploc bag for future batches. Boil one cup of water on the stovetop. Add the grated Fells naphtha into the saucepan and stir constantly. Reduce the heat if the mixture starts to boil over. Meanwhile, pour 2.5 quarts or 10 cups of room temperature water into your bucket. All right, after all the soap is dissolved, um, I've already put 10 cups of water in here. Try to find like a clean container. This is the best one I had from my tile set stuff. Measure out one quarter cup of the super washing soda and two tablespoons of the borax. Add them to the bucket of water and fells nap the soap mixture. Stir well and add another 10 cups of water to the mixture and stir again. Now cover the mixture with a lid or saran wrap and store it overnight out of reach of children and pets, of course. In the morning, your mixture will have a wonderful gelatinous texture. I bet you didn't expect that, did you? Go ahead and mix it up. Then add five quarts or 20 cups of water to the mixture. Add 15 to 30 drops of essential oil for scent if you like and stir the mixture very well to get rid of any gel clumps. To store your newly made laundry detergent, you can fill your old detergent bottle, or for something prettier, you can use a two and a half gallon drink dispenser. While I'm filling the jug, let me add some final notes. On a daily basis, I found it easier to keep a corked lid bottle by the washer to dispense a quarter cup of detergent per load of laundry. More detergent won't get your clothes any cleaner. If you want the printable recipe for my DIY laundry detergent, visit the link in the upper right hand corner of the screen, or look in the description below this video. When you visit that link, I'll also share my Miracle Stain Cleaner that works effortlessly to remove stains. My detergent batch lasts about six months and it always makes more than I can store in the dispenser. So I usually fill some other containers I have laying around. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to click that like button below if you liked it. And hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button up there and you'll never miss another DIY video tutorial from Pretty Handy Girl again. Speaking of not missing anything, I'm on all these social channels. Come find me at Pretty Handy Girl.